Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In a previous video, I showed you how to install a Wi-Fi driver in order to get an internet connection with Linux Mint. I received a comment during the week asking, how do I install a Wi-Fi driver if I don't have an internet connection? In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to get an internet connection. OK, so we'll start off with the easiest. Um, if you have access to your router and your computer has an ethernet socket, then buy an ethernet cable, or if you've already got one, use it. Plug one end into the router, one end into your computer, and your internet connections should start straight away. The second option um, could cost you money unless you have one lying around the house, uh, is a USB Wi-Fi dongle. Um, as you can see on Amazon, there are a number of them available. Uh, what you want to do is search for the ones that support Linux. Uh, the prices range, um, as you can see, they're quite expensive, down to um, the lower price of like £4.99, which isn't expensive. It still means shelling out money. So there is a third option. And the third option, if you want to use it, is to use your mobile phone. So within your phone, go to Settings, Network and Internet, Hotspot and Tethering, and then USB Tethering. Mm and that will give you an internet connection and all you have to do is connect your phone from your to your computer using a USB cable. Uh, this will give you the internet long enough for you to install the Wi-Fi driver and you can use your computer as normal. To show that I have an internet connection I'm going to open up a terminal window and I'm going to ping Google and as you can see um, I'm getting a good ping so now I can go to Driver Manager and install the relevant driver. It takes a few minutes for the driver to install, but once it's complete, all you have to do is restart your computer. You can unplug your phone at this point and you can turn off tethering. Uh, once your computer's restarted, you can click on the network connections and you should see your Wi-Fi networks available. As you can see, I've clicked on my Wi-Fi connection and uh, entered the password. And now when I open up a terminal and ping google.com, I'm getting a good ping. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos from Everyday Linux User.